Now that you know how to identify if a polynomial is a summary difference of two cubes, you are now ready to factor this kind of polynomial. So given this general form of the sum of two cubes, a cubed plus b cubed, and the general form of the difference of two cubes, a cubed minus b cubed, the factors of these two would involve two quantities, one binomial and one trinomial. So how do we get the terms for the binomial and the trinomial factor? First is you have to get the cube root. So looking into the sum of two cubes first, the first term is a cube. So the cube root of this is actually just a. And for the second term, b cubed, the cube root of this would be b. Now the operation involved in between these two terms would just be the same as the operation in the given. So since this is addition, the operation in the binomial factor would be addition as well. Next, to get the terms in the trinomial factor, you now have to look at this binomial factor. So first is you have to square the first term. So the first term here is a. So the square of a is simply a squared. Next is you're going to multiply the two terms. So a times b would simply be ab and get the opposite sign. So since the sign in between is positive, your sign in the second term would be the opposite, which is negative. So that would be negative AB. And then lastly is square the second term. So the square of B is B squared. So meaning the factors of A cubed plus B cubed would be the quantity of A plus B times the quantity of A squared minus AB plus B squared. Next, working on the difference of two cubes, we're going to follow the same steps. First is get the cube root of the two terms. So a cubed would be simply a and b cubed would simply be b. This time, the operation involved is subtraction. So the operation in the binomial would be the same. Now to get the terms in the trinomial factor, look at the binomial factor this time. So the first term here is a and the square of a is simply a squared. Now multiply the two terms here. So we have a times negative b. So when we multiply this two, it would be negative ab. But you have to get the opposite sign. So that would be positive ab. And then when you get the square of negative b, it would be positive b squared. How come it became positive? Because when you actually square negative b, it would be negative b times negative b. So negative times negative would be positive because you might get confused how come this last term here became positive whereas this is negative. So just recall the rules in multiplying integers. So that also applies so let us try this first example. Looking at the first term, r cubed, so the this can be rewritten as r raised to 3, and 125 can be rewritten as 5 raised to 3. So these numbers here, or these terms rather, r and 5, are actually the cube roots already. So we're going to place them in the binomial factor and follow the operation involved. So this one here, it involves subtraction. So the binomial factor would already be r minus 5. Now, to get the terms in the trinomial factor, you're going to look at this binomial factor. So the first term here is r, and the square of r is simply r squared. Next is, multiply the two terms. r times negative 5 is negative 5r, but you have to get the opposite sign. So that becomes positive 5r. Next is get the square of the second term, negative 5. So that would be negative 5 times negative 5, which is positive 25. So in that case, the factors of r cubed minus 125 is simply the quantity of r minus 5 times the quantity of r squared plus 5r plus 25. Now, open your Schoology and answer exercise 1.8 under day 5 of cycle 1 and try to factor the following expression. So number 1 is under the sum of 2 cubes and number 2 is under the difference of 2 cubes.